lot of delegations have been coming here to see Venom ANL missile option. Now, this missile will be equipping helicopters for the British Royal Navy as well as the French Navy. And why do they like it? Because this missile is extremely agile, easy to use. For example, an operator can actually navigate the missile in flight for around 20 seconds during its 20 kilometer range while it's being fired. For more on this, I spoke to Mark Sheehan. Sea Venom ANL is our latest uh, development uh, in a helicopter launched uh, anti-surface missile. Uh, it's in its final stages of development, having been selected uh, on contract for the UK Royal Navy and for the French Navy. The UK Navy will fit it onto the Wildcat helicopter and we're currently conducting trials with a French testbed helicopter uh, to do the initial um, jettison trials with the hope that we'll be doing firings early next year. At the moment, the Royal Navy uses the Sea Skewer missile. A number of other navies use uh, helicopter-launched anti-ship missiles, such as AS-15TT. Those missiles are coming to the end of their life. They've been very uh, successful products, uh, but they're now coming to the end of their operational service and need to be replaced because there is an operational requirement for both helicopters and ships uh, to have a capability against fast attack craft. The helicopter can carry up to four Sea Venom missiles and they have a range of around 20 kilometers. So we can fire a single missile or we can fire a salvo. So that gives us a tremendous amount of uh, agility. Uh, not only can we engage small surface targets, the missile also has a coastal suppression role. Uh, by that, I mean we can engage targets on the coastline, including radar uh, stations, uh, missile batteries, uh, or buildings of um, high value. We can also engage um, ships that are at anchor or even alongside in harbour, uh, which gives us a tremendous amount more um, agility than we have with the current systems. The big advantage of uh, Sea Venom ANL is for the final period of en engagement. The picture that the missile seeker is viewing will actually be data linked into the cockpit. Uh, we can control up to four missiles in flight all at the same time, and this allows us to do several things. First of all, we can confirm it is our target. Uh, if we need to change target in flight, it allows us to do that. If we need to abort the missile, again, we can do that. Or finally, if we need to pick a very precise aim point on the vessel uh, or on the target on the shoreline, uh, we can uh, adjust it using our aim point selection uh, to hit that uh, point with precision.